In tonight's Safe and Secure, San Luis Obispo's Department of Social Services says there's a potential scam going around targeting people receiving Social Security benefits. KSBY News reporter Megan Healy spoke with the staff to see how you can protect your information. Megan, what would you find out? Karina, criminals are calling, texting, and emailing in an attempt to steal money from Social Services accounts, but officials say you should never respond to such messages. Department staff say they've received a number of reports about local social services scamming since they released the warning. Criminals typically ask for details of a person's benefit card, such as card number, social security number, or PIN. But Assistant Director of Social Services, Tracy Shiro, says don't be fooled. Social services staff never will call and ask for that information. We have that information. According to the department, the senior community is at a higher risk of these scams, but all benefit holders should be alert. I think that our elderly get targeted quite easily um, and our, um, but right now for the electronic benefits card, they're, they're going after anyone with a card. Assistant Manager of Las Brisas Retirement Home helps people confirm their data with their families. The residents are concerned about what information they're supposed to give out. Um, maybe they get some past due bills that look like they need to fill out all this information for maybe taxes or Social Security, but real, really they're getting scammed fake mail. Staff says scams aren't just limited to Social Security benefits. Rudy Xavier says he received a call from someone who claimed to be his grandson. He thinks the scammer imitated his family member from social media posts. Looked at his Facebook, sure enough, there's videos on there. There's sound on there, sound bites. There's names of his both grandfathers. And he said, my other grandfather got the same call. Social Services tells me criminals are becoming more and more clever at tricking people. The assistant director also says to ignore any suspicious phone call, text, emails, and to hang up immediately if they ask for personal details. Reporting live in the newsroom, Megan Healy, KSBY News. All right, Megan, thank you so much. And if you feel that your information has been compromised, call the Department of Social Services. That number is posted at ksby.com links.